Hey, this is Dave from Unipro. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get way more views on all your Facebook Reels. And as an example, I'm gonna show you some of my Facebook Reels, and these are targeting a very specific niche audience, yet they're still getting thousands of views. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact strategies that I use and that you can use to make sure that all of your Reels get seen by a bigger audience. Let's dive in. So you know that Facebook loves Reels. And you know if you wanna be engaging your audience and growing your audience, you need to be creating Reels. But your Reels just aren't getting as many views as you'd like. Maybe they did at the start. Maybe the first couple Reels you created got a lot of views. And then you've noticed that, that engagement and that reach and the number of people who are viewing is decreasing. Well, what the heck? Some people will say, you know, just give up on Facebook Reels altogether. Go back to posting only on TikTok or maybe creating shorts on YouTube. No way. We know that Facebook is going all in on Reels. We know that Facebook loves Reels. In fact, let me show you what Mark Zuckerberg recently said. In one of his posts, he said, Facebook just reached uh, 2 billion daily active users. And he says, we're making progress because of AI discovery. So their discovery is getting better. And specifically, Reels are a major driver of this. So Zuckerberg knows that Facebook Reels are gonna be a driver. Short form content is so hot. Facebook has to make that a big part of its platform. So don't give up on your Facebook Reels. Instead, let's walk through seven steps that you can take in order to improve your Reels so you get more reach, you get more views, you get more engagement, and you can use all this then to grow your online business. So let's take a look at those seven factors right now. The first thing that you wanna to do to maximize the number of views that you get on your Reels is to remove any watermarks. So I'm gonna show you an example here, and this happens way too often. You'll see that this person, they took their TikTok and uploaded it directly as a Facebook Reel, and it's still got the TikTok logo here. Now, Facebook, it's really clear that they're investing a ton of money and a ton of time into AI, and just as their tools get better and better, this is gonna be so easy for Facebook to detect if it's not already doing so. And as Facebook sees that you're just taking content straight off TikTok and putting it on Facebook, how do you think Facebook, the algorithm is gonna feel about that content? Well, there's a good chance that your algorithm is gonna be decreased and fewer and fewer people are gonna see reels that have logos like this on them. So make sure you upload a new version of your reel without any watermarks directly to Facebook. That's number one. Number two, you wanna post consistently. Facebook is really looking for content creators who are gonna consistently be adding value to the platform and who are consistently keeping people engaged on the Facebook platform. Remember, Facebook wants to make money and it does that by showing people ads. So if your consistent content can help keep other users on the Facebook platform, your reels are gonna get seen by way more people. Facebook will basically be saying, hey, thanks for being so consistent with creating this content. Let me show you how I do this. I use a content calendar. Here's my content calendar. And you can see in this column for Wednesdays, every single Wednesday, I create a Facebook reel and I post it on my personal profile. Now for you, maybe you wanna do this on a weekly basis like I do. Maybe you wanna do it three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Maybe you wanna create a reel every single day. Whatever you choose in terms of that interval, just make sure that you're really consistent so that you're training Facebook saying, hey, we're here to help you out. We're creating good content on a consistent basis. Now reward me with more reach. And that's exactly what Facebook's gonna do for you. Number three, if you want more people to see your reels, if you wanna increase your views, you need to make sure that your audience is full of people who match the niche that would get the most value out of your content. What do I mean by that? Well, let me show you an example. I'm gonna go over to one of my reels here, and this particular reel is talking all about Facebook jail. You can see down here, it says Facebook jail explained. Well, what is Facebook jail? Facebook jail is something that basically if you do too much activity or too quickly, or you do something Facebook doesn't like, Facebook prevents you from doing certain things on Facebook. Who would care about this? Well, business owners care about this because they're using Facebook to grow their business. That's why they're so active on Facebook in the first place. And so it's really important, if I'm gonna create a Facebook Reel about Facebook jail, I need to have an audience who cares. Here's how it'll work for you. If you create a Facebook Reel, Facebook's gonna show that to your audience. Assuming that the Reel actually matches your audience, people are gonna start engaging. Facebook sees this and says, okay, we got a winner here. Let's show this reel to more people outside of your existing network who might also be interested. And so that's why it's so important that you're building a niche audience who would care about your Facebook reels. Now, step number four to make sure that your Facebook reels get seen by more people is all about using hashtags. And again, I'm gonna go over and show you an example here. So some people will just stuff their content full of hashtags and it actually decreases in effectiveness. The whole reason that we use hashtags is to help Facebook categorize what the reel is about. And so if you create 50 hashtags, that's a lot, right? That gives 
50 different ideas that Facebook has to sort through and determine which one really represents what this Facebook reel is all about. So instead, what I recommend is that you use three to five really targeted and specific hashtags. Let me show you an example here. So this one is all about getting hot leads on Facebook and notice I use three hashtags. I say Facebook marketing, online business, and online marketing. That's all Facebook needs to know. And now it's gonna take those hashtags and say, okay, this reel is about online marketing, Facebook marketing. When we see people engaging on content that's about a similar topic, it makes sense to show this reel. And therefore this reel will get more views. And you can do the exact same thing, choosing three to five very specific hashtags for all of your reels. Step number five to make sure that your reels get more views is by using a hook. Because Facebook reels are such short form content, you only have a split second to get people really engaged, to get them interested, to make sure that they watch the entire 60 or 90 seconds, however long your reel is. And so in that split second, the first second or two of your video, you need to give a hook. Let me show you an example here. This particular reel is all about a new feature from Facebook called Facebook Stars that lets people earn money directly from their audience. And so I wanna make sure that right out of the gate, people understand that this is something new that they haven't seen before. How do I do that? I create a hook. Right on the screen, it says new Facebook stars, emphasizing this is new. So think about how you can do that with your reels as well. Right off the bat, starting with something that hooks people in so they know they're gonna get value that they haven't gotten before. They know they're gonna wanna stick around and watch your entire reel. As they watch your entire reel, as your view time goes up, guess what happens? The Facebook algorithm sees this and it's gonna start showing your reel to more and more people. And this leads into number six. If you wanna get more views on your Facebook reels, you need to be using a call to action. And I'm gonna show you an example here. All of your reels should tell people what to do next. And here's a good example. This particular one was very blatant about it. This particular one said, type eight in the comments. And you can see the result here was 63 comments. Well, what does this do? This shows Facebook that people who are watching this reel care enough to actually stop and take the time to comment. Think about that, that's a big deal for reels. Because reels are so quick and they move so fast through someone's feed, for someone to take the time to stop and comment really shows Facebook that what you produced is hitting, it's really resonating with your audience. And therefore, Facebook needs to find more people like that to show that reel too. So how do you do this? You can tell people to like the reel, you can tell them to leave a comment like I did in this reel. You can tell them to reply to a comment that you put in the reel. Anything that gets them to engage on your reel is gonna boost your algorithm for that reel and get it seen by more people. That's number six. Now step number seven is actually something that I don't use with my reels, but it could benefit you depending on your niche. So I do wanna address it and that's trending music. If the type of content that you're creating is for entertainment or if you're targeting an audience that would really be interested in the type of music you're using, it may be beneficial for you to pick a trending piece of music from Facebook Reels as you're creating your reel and use that within your reel so that people who are engaging on other reels that also use that same trending song are more likely to see your content. Now for me, because I'm targeting a business audience, I'm not so interested in people who are looking for specific types of music, but maybe that makes sense for your niche. And if that is you, then definitely try adding trending music to your reels when you create them and this could get your reels seen by more people. So those are seven steps that you can use to increase the number of views that you're getting on your Facebook reels. Now I do wanna be fully transparent and let you know that one of the ways that I make sure that my reels are getting seen by the right people is by using a special tool, it's called Unipro. And if you've never tried out Unipro before, you gotta check it out, go over to unipro.com. Unipro will go out and find your ideal leads and bring those leads over into your audience. It'll help them engage on your content. It'll boost your algorithm so that more people will see your content and even more leads will come your way. And Unipro even helps you make sales directly through Facebook. It's been an absolute game changer for my business and I know the same will be true for you. So definitely check it out at unipro.com. That's what I've got for you in this video. If this was helpful to you in any way, give this video a like. And if you have any comments or questions about the algorithm for Facebook Reels and how to make sure that your Reels are getting seen by more people and by the right people, leave those below. I'm happy to help out. Again, if you haven't checked out Unipro, definitely go check it out. You're going to love it. Go over to unipro.com. It's really going to be a game changer for your business. It's going to help you grow so much more quickly on Facebook. That's what I've got for you in this video. Can't wait to see it in the next video.